MCE TV is a program within Morris College Eastwood unlike any other school in Australia. Undoubtedly, over the past two terms you have seen some of our content, like live streaming and producing videos for major school events. This has been made possible by utilising the extraordinary resources that have been made available to the students over the past year. Now, with over 30 students involved, MCE TV is ready to take the next step in producing informative, valuable and entertaining content for the whole school community with our new weekly report. In the same style of the sport report, which was trialled internally over the last two terms, this regular bulletin will keep the entire community up to date with the proceedings within the college, including sport, special events, creative performances and even noteworthy news items like exclusive access to the construction of the Montagna Centre. Each week we will see a compilation of MCE TV's work, collaborating with teachers and students around the school to produce content to show the entire community. Hosted by Year 12 students, we hope this bulletin will be a fantastic resource for staff, students and parents to enjoy. Welcome to the first episode of the MCE TV Weekly Report. Hello and welcome to the MCTV Weekly Report. I'm Archon Polacek. And I'm Simon McDermott. Each week, this innovative bulletin will give you an inside look into college life. Today, we will take a look at the highlights of MCE at the Granny Smith Festival and recap MCS Sport for the start of Term 4. But first, MCE TV was able to gain exclusive access to take a look at the construction of the Montagna Centre. Jack Kelly has more. I'm here with our college principal, Mr. Delmarsh. Mr. Delmarsh, oh, the students are very eager for this new multi-purpose centre. Could you give us a brief update how things are going, progress report? Absolutely, Jack, and uh, I'll just explain to you, we're sitting now on the basketball outdoor play area on the top of the Montagna Centre. Um, two parts of this centre is where we're standing at the moment is two basketball courts uh, running this way, one this way, one behind me. Uh, there'll be four cricket nets um, along the bottom here and as you can see we have a fantastic view um, overlooking the uh, suburb of Eastwood. Um, just behind us on to this side here is a, another level that's about to be built and at one end will be hospitality and uh, food tech kitchen and at this end here will be two music room with tuition rooms as well. Okay? This area we're standing on at the moment will be fully netted and uh, boys will be able to use this space for a range of, uh, of sports and uh, so it's, uh, it's we're, we're doing really well with our, with our progress and uh, I'll explain to you a bit more about what's happening inside in a few minutes. All right, we've just come down from where the two basketball courts are at the top where people are going to have uh, recess and lunch. Could you give us a quick overview of this, the main hall and what's going to be in here, sir? Not a problem. Jack, uh, we're on the, on the uh, lower floor, which is the hall of the Montagna Centre. Uh, the space we're standing on at the moment will be two basketball courts uh, running from where we're standing back towards the, um, uh, the wall on the far side. And um, to our right is the stage. It's a nice last, large stage with uh, zones on either side for, for green rooms and so forth. Um, if we walk along the back, the back wall that we're standing here, it'd be a drama room in the in the in the, in the corner on, on the right-hand side. Across the middle, where in between the stairwells will be the uh, a kitchenette as well as a lift and uh, change rooms and toilets and so forth. And immediately to the left-hand side will be our fitness centre, uh, which will be located in that corner. As you pan around to the left, to, to the left even further, the operable seats will will be lodged against that back wall, which uh, will press a button. They'll roll out to the middle of a hall. 
Above it is the is is a mezzanine area where the audiovisual equipment will be stored to run the func run functions and so forth. And and as we pan, we keep panning to the left and coming around. You see these pink columns. They won't stay pink, but the idea is that that will be all glass coming right around the centre here. So that great spaciousness of, of, of light coming in, but also a lovely view out over um, over uh, the t uh, eastward. If we have a look back on, against this wall here on the upper level, immediately in the middle of the upper level is the foyer, but to the right of it will be a, sta a, uh, a staff room, and to the left of it will be a classroom and storeroom as well, and then you can see the ramp that takes us up to the top. And, uh, and we didn't, as I mentioned upstairs, there's still a third floor to be built, uh, which will be uh, done in the next few months, and that will house hospitality and music up the top. Okay, thank you. Well, I can tell I'm very excited. The whole school is very excited. Thank you for giving us your time this afternoon. And yeah, that's a wrap. <laughs> thank you. Unfortunately, Eastwood have had a rocky start to the MCS basketball competition. In round one, all basketball teams went down against Blacktown. A grade opened with a quick 5-0 to zero score until the slick Blacktown machine got going. The boys worked hard and had great difficulty containing a tall and very fast team. Round two was again disappointing for MC, with all teams losing. Coaches say that the Year 10 Opens team had a remarkable improvement over last week. Last week in round three, the Year 9 Opens continued to improve, demonstrating a higher level of control to more effectively pass the ball and set up plays, even though all teams lost. The same can't be said for our cricket teams. We've had mixed results and positive results this season. In round one, the second, 11s, 9 Opens and 7s all defeated Blacktown with extremely positive feedback from their coaches. Round two saw a washout for most teams, except for the second 11s, who went down against Penrith. Last week, Penrith defeated our first 11 team, while we were able to beat the second 11. In the coming weeks, we'll catch up with the members of these teams for a recap. Each year, Morris College Eastwood participates in the Granny Smith Festival Parade. It always proves to be a fantastic day for the college. Martin Young has a recap for us. Hi, I'm Martin Young, and this is Granny Smith 2014. Hi, I'm Steve Mitchell, and I'm a marketing and promotions officer for the college. So today is one of our main marketing days, where we get out amongst the community, and we make ourselves visible to the community. What did you think of this year's Granny Smith? Another successful day. We had a huge number of boys here and the, and the local uh, public loved us and uh, gave us lots of applause and uh, it was a great uh, show. I'd really like to uh, recognise all the boys that came along and Mr Mitchell for organising it. It was a fantastic effort and it was well done. It's pretty good. I enjoyed it. It was Mad. Good. Love the walk. Everyone was so polite. That's all for the first MCTV Weekly Report. We hope you'd enjoy it. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>